Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have with me a couple of new items I just couldn't wait to share. So I ordered the full spring summer collection from Shantikai and when they started kind of teasing it, they released a couple items for pre-order. So those arrived. The rest of the collection they released, what was it, Wednesday? Um, yeah, the 15th. So they released that online on their website for order on Wednesday, the remaining items. And I purchased those. I haven't received any sort of like shipping confirmation or estimated time of arrival or anything like that. But I did get the things for my pre-order um, just right now. So I wanted to go through those with you guys, give you some first impressions. And what I have then is the Hummingbird Eye Quartet in Warm and the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. Okay, so I have these and then in addition, uh, if you spend $150 or more on their website right now, you get a free Celestial Nail Shear. So I chose the color Vega and I actually got this uh, a couple days ago in the mail. They sent the free gift separately. Uh, and is what I currently have on my nails it is very sheer. Let me just show it to you real quickly. So this is a nail polish that is eight free with a vegan formula. So it says it's a shimmering sheer top coat, which gives the nails a starry luminous glow, wear alone or layer over opaque polish. So it's cruelty free and vegan. And um, I have another one coming with the second half of my order that will be the, the pink one. Um, so this is Vega, so it is green. And I don't have any other polish on under my nails. I actually just put it on. I was gonna just try it on real quickly and then I decided to just put it on all my nails. So this top part, you can take this off if you want. Actually, when I started trying to open it the first time, I had to take it off because this part was so tightly screwed on that I couldn't get it off. All right, so I'll just apply another coat so you can kind of see the, the difference here. Sure, if, actually you can even pick up any more difference, but you can see it's gonna be sparkly. It's, it's really pretty sheer, so there's only like a little tint of green to it, but you can see inside that the the sparkle is going to be like um, a little greener leaning opalescent. So, but overall it's very sheer and you don't really pick up too much on the green unless you're kind of looking closely at it and you can kind of see it reflected in the lights. So um, I like this. My daughter loves looking at it on my nails. So, um, so far good. And just so you know, it you don't feel any of the um, particles or anything. It's not one of those gritty nail polishes, so it's smooth to the touch. All right, so um, let's go through and open these, but first let me tell you what I have on my face because we'll be trying all of this stuff on. And what I put on, I have the Shantikai Just Skin in Alabaster on, and then I used, for concealer today, I used the Kevin O'Quan um, Supernatural Concealer in light EC01. Um, I have the Wander Beauty Brow Gel on in taupe, and I use the Chantecaille Cheek Gel A in Vibrant, which was part of the, I believe it was the fall collection maybe. Um, so anyway, that's what I have on so far. And let's start with, oh, actually, that's not true. I also put on, I set my um, concealer with the Chantecaille face powder, the A Cloud Dew from the holiday. So this is the the powder gel balm thing. So I, I really like that one. Okay, so let's start off with the eyeshadow. So I have the Hummingbird Eye Quartet in Warm, and you can see already that the box is beautiful. So you've got this beautiful hummingbird on here. It's nice jewel tone green. And um, this is the Warm palette. So it says there's Three flattering shimmer shades and one matte base shade that create an elegant, defined eye look. Okay, so the collection for, um, I think it's spring and summer. I'm not, not positive it's spring, summer, or just spring. Uh, but anyway, this collection is supporting the Amazon rainforest. So there is a tribe of indigenous women. Um, they, it's called ASOMI, I believe. I'm not positive on all of these details, 
I did see like a, a little video on Instagram from um, Shantakai that kind of went over this, but honestly, I, I only saw bits and pieces of it. So basically, though, um, they're trying to purchase about 75 acres of their ancestral homeland, uh, which is part of the Amazon rainforest. So Shantakai is supporting them um, with proceeds from this collection to purchase these 75 square acres of um, the Amazon rainforest in order for them to kind of protect that area. So and that happens to be where the hummingbird on the packages lives. So it's a specific hummingbird. Okay, right, so inside, let's see if we can get this out. Okay. All right, so here's a little, little paper. I should have probably opened this beforehand. Um, but it says, hummingbirds are the symbol of a thriving Amazon. Deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon jumped 88% in just one year, and 20% of the Amazon's original forests have vanished. So there are some pictures. And then inside, you know, you've got the typical written information in the various languages. Um, over here on this part is the part in English, and um, basically it's just going over what the Hummingbird Collection includes. So we've got the Blur Finishing Powder, the Eye Quartets in Warm and Cool, and then there are four Lip Sheeks. So again, I did order all of those items, um, but I'm not sure when the rest of it will be coming. And since the holiday items kind of came sporadically, I wanted to make sure I got this part up, so if anybody was interested, they could um, take a look into it. All right, so um, let's go ahead and look at the compact. So we've got green, um, the green metal tin here, and then again, the picture matches the, the box. Okay, so it's very, very pretty. I really like this. Inside, got a mirror and this is just the label one two three four for the colors so these here are the colors so again three shimmer shades and then one matte shade so if you go online and you're looking at it on the website they actually have recommendations for what to use for each of these colors so it says the top left is a glimmering peach highlight shade top right is a matte neutral brown for the base um, number three, bottom left, is a cool shimmering slate for a liner. And number four is the chromatic gold with iridescent pink pearl for all over your lid. So let's go ahead and swatch these. And they feel incredibly creamy. Um, so let me move my sleeve. All right, so this is the Glimmering Peach Highlight Shade. It's a little bit deeper than what I expected for a highlight shade, um, but it's definitely a warm peach. And the matte shade is just as creamy feeling. And again, this is for the base. It's a matte neutral brown. And I'd say, you know, that's a very apt des description. Here is our slate liner shade. And that is very silvery. Um, it's actually, for sl the color slate, I expect it to be a little bit deeper, um, but it's a really pretty like medium silver. So it's, it's kind of like a medium depth. And then the last shade here, this is the chromatic gold for all over. And yes, I can definitely see that's much more sheer than the others. So you can kind of see where it kind of shears out. So that'll definitely be good as a topper. All right, so this is the warm quartet. So we'll put this on in a minute. Um, first, let's finish looking at the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. So this one comes in an orange box, okay? And it says, smooth and perfect your complexion with this ultra fine instant blur powder. The weightless finishing formula helps skin appear softly filtered and flawless. So I really liked the, um, powder balm from the holiday collection. I use that um, several times a week. So I really, really enjoy that. So I'm looking forward to this finishing powder to kind of complement that. All right, so again, um, this is the same paper that came in the other one. Just wipe my fingers off so I don't get any 
eyeshadow on this compact. All right, so again, it matches the box. You've got the orange metal here, and inside you've got the mirror, and this is the powder. That is a beautiful design. It actually, you know, reminds me more of like a seashell, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's very pretty. All right, so let me just make sure my finger is totally clean. All right, that looks good. All right, and here's the powder. All right, so I'm just gonna put this right up here next to it. So it has a, a smooth texture. You can see it really blends in well with my skin when I kind of smooth it in, but it does have like a tad, you know, it's, it's a tad yellowish, so you can kind of see it on there still. Um, but it is really kind of sinking in pretty well. Um, so anyway, it's a creamy, not creamy, but a smooth powdery texture. Um, so I'm interested in seeing how this works on my skin. All right, so um, let's go ahead and we will get started with the eye look. So I think for the first time I'm using this palette, we'll go with their particular recommendations and let's start off with the base shade, the matte brown. So I'm gonna start off with the Sonia G Soft Shader. You know, I've got a lot of eye brushes and these sky eye brushes are the ones I keep reaching for. Like I keep all my brushes in a container um, pointed up like this, so I really just go by the brush head, but <laughs> these end up being the ones that I pick up the most. So when these come back, I would highly, highly recommend these brushes, whether you buy them individually or in a set. Um, I really, really like these. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a base shade, and I'm going to just kind of apply this all over. I do not have any primer or anything on. One sec, I'm just gonna pull my hair back. Okay, so um, and I apologize, my eyes are slightly watery today. We've had a couple of warm days and now it's getting really cold, we're supposed to get snow. So I think just the change in weather and my, my allergies are just kind of acting up a little bit. So anyway, this is the base shade. All right, so let's move on to the um, highlight shade. So I'm going to take a crease brush. Again, I grabbed an eye brush, but this is the classic crease from the Sonia G. And I'm going into the first shade, and this is the highlight. I'm going to put this actually in the crease and um, kind of as a highlight up a little bit higher on the brow bone. And I want to make sure I get a little bit in the inner corner here. All right, so there's that. And now let's go in with the highlight shade. And I wanna use, um, this is the Worker 3 from Sonia G. And I'm just gonna press this on. And I'm gonna try one side with my finger and one side with this brush. So I'm just gonna kinda dab it on and see how that works. When I can use a brush, I prefer to use a brush versus my fingers. I am very messy with my fingers. But I know that some shades just, they look better when you use your fingers. So let's see how it compares. I 
actually think it ended up being pretty similar with my fingers or the brush, which I'm very happy about because I would prefer to use a brush. So I'm just going to kind of make sure they both have the same application. Just in case my fat fingers couldn't reach anything. All right, but I'm not sure if you guys can tell, um, but if you look, I'm gonna try to move so it catches the light, but there is like a pink shift to this a little bit. So it's definitely um, golden pink. So uh, yeah, that color is really pretty. You know, I think on my swatch, you can't really pick up too much on the pink. Let me add a little bit more and see if that makes a difference. I really feel like you're not seeing the pink on the swatch. But on my eyes, maybe it has to do with the layering um, with the brown underneath. Let's see here. Maybe a little bit, but you know, I really, on my eyes, I definitely see like a pink shift to it which I'm not seeing on the swatches on my hand. So um, that was a nice surprise. <laughs> so, okay, let's go ahead and use the liner. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a thicker liner today. So let me go in with a pencil brush. Oh, we'll use the Sonuji Builder one, actually. It looks like a lot of my um, tapered pencil, pencil brushes must be uh, being washed right now. So, all right, so I'm just going to get a little bit here and we're going to do upper and lower. I'm trying to keep the line on the thicker side. Okay, so I really like this shade a lot. All right, now I wanna go in and just dab a little bit of the highlight on the inner corner. And I'm gonna use the Refer 14, it's like a smaller crease brush. So I'm gonna go into the highlight shade number one. And I'm just gonna get a little bit on the tip and just kinda of go in here and drag it down a little bit here. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna blend away the top edges again. This is a crease brush that I used before. I'm not adding any additional shadow. Just gonna go over this. All right, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish um, my eyes, and then we'll come back and we'll put the powder on together. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm back. I just put on the By Terry Lash Expert um, Twist Mascara. And just so you know, I did also purchase the Buff and Blur brush from Shantikai. This actually came out with the, I think with the holiday stuff, but I didn't purchase it, but I figured it would be good for using the finishing powder. However, I haven't washed it yet. So I'm going to go in with a similarly shaped brush. This is the Sonia G Face One. And you can see that they are similar. Um, this one, obviously, it just came out of the package. So this is more compressed. But they do have a pretty similar shape and um, comparable size. I think the Sonia G Feral is a bit thinner. So, you know, maybe it's not quite as dense. But honestly, they feel pretty comparable in density. Um, just with how firm they are with moving the bristles. So um, I'll be using this one today. And let's go ahead and we'll get started and we'll do this side of my face and you guys can kind of compare before I put everything over. All right, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on the brush. It's kind of a shame to always ruin these beautiful designs, but I'm not a collector, so I always 
use whatever makeup I buy. I don't like to have stuff just sitting there unused. Um, there are certain things that I have to say. I've been very, very tempted to just kind of keep in their packaging and so forth. All right, let's do half my nose right now. All right, so let's see here. Can you guys tell a blurring effect? I think I can. This side definitely seems a bit softer. Um, I have a little bit of extra redness in my face today and I think the blush didn't really help with that. And the fact that I use the Just Skin, which is basically a tinted sunscreen, um, you know, doesn't really hide any of that. So I do definitely see that this side with the powder definitely has a little bit more of a soft focus feeling or uh, look to it. So I think it also helped disguise some of this redness. Let's add a little bit more, just see what it does. Yeah, it's definitely blurring things. So let's go ahead and do both sides. So I have to say, I think this powder, um, you know, it comes up well off of the pan. I'm not experiencing any fallout or anything with this. And, you know, it's maybe a little bit firmer, I would say, than the holiday, the Eclat Dew powder. Um, so just something to note, but overall, you know, I think it's performing very nicely. All right, do they look the same? I think my left side needs a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's it for the finishing powder. I'll be playing around with this a lot and then I'll give you guys final thoughts on how everything wears um, after I've, you know, worn them more, more often. Um, and, but overall, this is the, the, the powder and the warm eye quartet. Okay, so this is everything for the look. I think, you know, the blurring powder definitely, I, I definitely see evidence of blurring. I'll be testing everything um, over the next few days. So next week, I'll put out some final thoughts on these items after I've worn them and played with them a bit. I'm very interested in playing with this warm eyeshadow quad and kind of mixing up the colors. So again, this was the way that they kind of recommend it, um, applying them. But I definitely want to see uh, how the liner looks more like as a shadow and not just as a liner as well. So I'm very interested in playing with those. So to finish this up, I'm going to use the Chantecaille Gloss in Classic. This is actually new to me. I just got this for Christmas and I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. So it looks kind of like a warm, curly color. Let's see, put it here. Yeah, so it's kind of like a warm, rosy coral. Um, there's definitely a little bit of, you know, more of a dusky, orangey rose color to it. Okay, so that is the color in Classic. So this is one of the Chantecaille glosses. I think this color actually complements this particular quad very well. I like the colors together, um, but I am getting the new lip shakes, so I am very curious to try those out. Uh, they all looked really pretty. At first I was just gonna get two of them and then I just I couldn't really narrow it down. So. Um, that's everything for today. So first impressions, so far I'm really liking the collection. I'm very excited to see more. The blurring powder um, went on very nicely. It's got a, a really good texture to it. It came up well with the brush, no fallout or anything. And I definitely noticed blurring on my skin. I hope that was evident in the uh, footage. Um, the eye quartet, everything went on very nicely. The shadows have a creamy quality to them. And, you know, I don't really have any fallout or anything under my eyes. 
and I'm very interested in playing more with these. So I, Shantakai is one of my favorite makeup brands. So I am definitely very excited to see what else they have coming. And you know, so far I'm loving everything. So, all right, um, I will see you guys soon. And I hope this video was helpful. And you know, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And again, if you are interested in um, purchasing any of these items, they are currently only on Shantakai's website. And, you know, in a little while, they'll be putting them on like Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus and so forth as well. So, um, but if you purchase from Shantakai right now, if you spend 150 or more, you do get a free nail shear. Keep in mind though, you can't get this and samples, although honestly, they're kind of stingy with samples. Um, so if they have a promotion like this going on, I would definitely choose the nail polish versus uh, the sample because I think you only get to pick like one little sample and let's see if I have, I don't have one here, but they're always like in the little like foil packets. So it's, it's not going to be a lot. You're obviously getting a lot more value from a promotion like this. So anyway, um, thanks so much and have a great day.